Hey, Phony! The coast is clear! Look at him! We got chased out of Boneville two weeks ago, and he's still moping around. Oh, well, I guess you can whine all you want when you're the richest guy in the whole town. Ah! Oops, silly me! Ex-riches! They can't do this to me! You can't do anything to a rich person that he doesn't want! Oh, a couple of shady business deals went sour. Is that any reason to run the most beloved bone in Boneville out on a rail? Beloved? The mayor declared a school holiday just so the kids could come and throw rocks at you. Oh, bad news, Phone. We're out of water. That's it! That's the last straw! Don't get mad at Smiley Bone. This mess isn't his fault. That's right! The townspeople aren't mad at us! They ran you out of town because you're a selfish little greed bag! I can't believe this! I'm gonna die out here! Hey, Phone, where are we? Get us out of here! I can't. We're off the map. I think we're lost. I think it's some kind of old paper. It's stuck. What you doing, Phone Bone? I'm trying to get this thing out from under this rock. What is it? I'll tell you after I get it out. Oh, let me know if it's a piece of pie. I love a piece of pie right now. Just stand up, will you? Sure thing, cuz. Let me help you with that. Huh. Looks like it's some kind of map. A map? I'm saved! Give it here! Give me a dollar first. How about a tune, Smiley? Sure thing, cuz. How about picking on the old banjo? Always a good one. Beanie, fi, fiddly eye, strumming on the old banjo. Somebody stop him! Do you really hate Smiley's music so much? What, are you crazy? How can you stand it? At least he's over that old gray mare phase. How about the old gray mare? My favorite! The old gray mare, she ain't what Don't she used to be. Song. Ain't Don't what she used to be. Ain't song. what she I used to be. The old gray mare, she it. ain't Here, what she used to be. Many I'll long stop years playing. ago. Here, Smiley. Here's a dollar. Thanks. Here's the map. Let me see that. Let's see now. What? What is this? This map looks like it was drawn by a five-year-old. It's worthless. It's worth a dollar. That's it. I'm gonna kill him. Smiley, what's that noise? Is it the townspeople? No, no people. Just folks. It's me, huh? Ah! Save me! <laughs> Yuck! Ah! I can't see! I think they're gaining on us! Yuck! <laughs> Yuck! Why me? You got silver? Smiley Bone! Ah! Where'd these stupid bugs come from? Phony! Ah!
him? Is it the one we seek? This is not the one. He doesn't bear the star. Eh, kill him anyway. He will be our supper. Who's gonna be your supper? Ah! The Great Red Dragon! This is one of Smiley's cigar stubs. If I can find more of these, maybe they'll lead me to Smiley. These cigar butts smell pretty bad. I wish Smiley had dropped breadcrumbs instead. Gross! Morning sure comes quick around here. It's green down there. I made it out of the desert. Hey, watch it! You almost stepped on me! Whoops! Hello. What are you supposed to be? I'm Ted! I'm a bug! Have you seen my cousins around? Cousins? What do they look like? Well, sort of like me, I guess. Ain't seen no one like you before, mister. Maybe Thorn has seen him? Who's this Thorn? He's not another bug, is he? Oh, <laughs> no. Nah, Thorn knows just about everything in the whole world. I don't know my way around here. How am I supposed to find this thorn? Uh, thorn's usually at the farm or the spring. Getting to the spring is real easy. Just cross the river, follow the path, go to the bottom of the waterfall and cross the river again, then cross the bottom clearing. You can't miss it. Um, I don't see a way to cross this river. Oh, <laughs> you can't get across the rocks like I can, can you? Sometimes being small is an awful nice thing to be. Tell you what, my brother's on the other side of the river. If you want, I'll go over and give him help out. What do you say? Uh, okay. I guess. What's your name? Phone Bone. Okay, Bone. Don't worry. We'll get you across this river in no time. Thanks. I'll wait here for you. Boing. Boing. I notice you always seem to jump in threes. Little, little, big. Yep. Boing! 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 Boing!
that phone bone. We'll help you right out. It's a big old dead tree. What's your point? I need you over here. On my way. Cool. The bugs made me a bridge. He's a good guy. Always looking out for him. Look who joined us for supper. <laughs> Go start the cooking fire. No, you call me fat. No? What do you mean, no? And it's not the first time you've done it either. You will go nowhere, small mammal. We're going to make you into a nice stew. I wouldn't let your friend call you fat. You don't look fat to me. Thank you. <laughs> Can we eat him now, please? Do you really think I'm fat? Comrade, this is not the time for this. If you think I'm fat, just say so. Please, comrade, I do not think you're fat. Then why do you always call me fat? What always? I do not always call you fat. Tell you the truth, sometimes it gets a little much to take. Comrade, be reasonable. I wasn't thinking. This isn't the time. I take it back. You're not fat. Too late. I know your true feelings. Please, comrade. Let's just prepare him for supper. In a tasty quiche? Quiche? Imagine what King Doc would say if he heard you. <laughs> Let us, please, just chop him up for the stew. Again with the stew! Why can't we cook him in a nice quiche? Please, comrade! There's nothing wrong with stew! I don't remember the last time I had a quiche. I'm only trying to protect your reputation. You mean your reputation. Have you no pride? Oh, please. Monsters do not eat quiche! What do you know about being a real monster? Those rat creatures would have to be pretty stupid to follow me onto this frail little branch. Stupid, stupid rat creatures! A nice hot stew? Mmm. I say bacon and a quiche. You know how much I like quiche. It seems to me you boys have a short memory. The dragon! Here. Who are you? I'm Phone Phone. Do you know the way to the hot spring? Sure we do. But we're not telling. Not? Not till he plays a game with us. Oh, yeah. Wanna play a game, Mr. Bone? 
Uh, well, okay. What do you want to play? What possums play best is dead. How about hide and seek? How about a story? I don't want a story. I want to play. Hide and seek sounds like fun. All right! Yay! Okay, go close your eyes and count to ten. <laughs> One, two, three. Where are those kids? <laughs> Cold. <laughs> cold, 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 cold. <laughs> Warmish. <laughs> oh, you are hot, hot, hot! Gotcha! <laughs> you found me! You get eight more guesses. Ow! You're burning me! Gotcha! Oh, man! Seven more tries! I thought this was a good spot. I can't believe you beat us. Yeah, we're really good hiders. You want to play again, Mr. Bone? Not now, guys. You said you'd show me how to get to the spring. It's real easy. Just walk all the way over there and go through the bush. The bush with the flowers all over it. You sure you don't want to play another game? <laughs> Maybe another time. Okay. Goodbye, Mr. Bone. Bye. Bye, Mr. Bone. Hello? Don't be afraid. Come on down. We'll share the pool. Hello. Um, are you new around here? Phone Bone, what's yours? Pleased to meet you, Phone Bone. My name is Thorn. Thorn? Ted told me to find you. He said you know everything. Well, that certainly sounds like Ted. Ted told me you could help me and my cousins get back to Boneville. Cousins? There are more of you? I've been asking around about them, but no one's seen them. Not even that dragon. Did you just say dragon? Hooray! Pretty soon I'll be back in Boneville, and I won't have to worry about dragons or this crazy valley again. Look, I'd like to help you. Well, let's go. No time to lose. But I don't know a place called Boneville. I've never heard of it. There's a little village down the road called Barrelhaven. Does that help? Oh. I don't belong here. My home is back through the mountains. Maybe my grandmother can help. She's been in the valley longer than almost anyone. She knows a lot about different places. Where can I find your grandma? We live at a farm really pretty close to here. Come on, I'll take you there. Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. Okay, I'll help you pick up your stuff. What's this? Oh, that's just an old map we found in the desert. Why are you making that face? I don't know. Something about this map is familiar. It reminds me of a dream I used to have. Are you okay? Hmm. I'm fine. Let's just forget it. Come on, Phone Bone, let's get back to the farm and find Grandma. Right behind you, Thorn.
I can't believe Phoneball would just leave me out here wandering around hungry and helpless. I'll bet he's back in Boneville right now, sitting in my house, eating my food! Shut up, stomach! Look, I don't have time for you right now. Oh, cruel, cruel fate! Why have you abandoned your most beloved son? God, I pity me. Okay, okay, I'll try to find some food. What the heck are you supposed to be? I'm Ted's brother. I'm a big bird. You look more like a big bloated leaf. Where can I get some food? I think there's some apples on the other side of the river. I want those apples! Get out of the way! You should mind your manners. This is a waste of time. You're not very bright, are you? Why, you... No bug alive can match my superior intellect! Good thing this log is here so I can cross the river. They don't have any proper roads around this place. Hello? I don't have time for autographs, kids. I'm in a hurry. Sorry, mister. We thought you were someone else. We thought you were Phone Bone. I don't look anything like Phone Bone. Wait a minute. Did you say you know Phone Bone? Yeah. Phone Bone's my cousin. His cousin? We like Phone Bone. He plays hide and seek with us. Yeah, he would. If I give you kids a dollar, will you tell me where Phone went? What's a dollar? You're kidding. No, really. What is it? Oh, never mind. I think I feel ill. Come on, just tell me where Phone Bone went. <laughs> Not till he plays a game with us. Let's play hide and seek. Oh, brother. Fine. Let's make it quick. Yay! He's gonna play with us! You hide, and we'll find you! Go hide! Come on! I already regret this. One, two, three... Tell us hot or cold! Warm. Where is he? Cold. I don't see him! <laughs> Me neither. Warm. Warm. Where are you, Mr. Bone? Cold. I'm behind the big rock. Alright! Tell us hot or cold. Warm. Gee, I wish we could find him. Cold. You're not too good at this game. Warm. Cold. Maybe he needs more practice. Warm. Where is he? I'm behind the big rock. Sure you are. Warm. I don't see him. <laughs> Me neither. 
cold. Warm. All right! Warm. Where are you, Mr. Bone? Warm. I'm right here, you dumb kids. Warm. Cold. Warm. Cold. Cold. I'm behind those rocks by the river. Warm. Gee, I wish we could find him. Cold. Cold. You're not too good at this. Yeah! Let's play again! Look, I don't have time for you right now. Okay, go close your eyes and count to ten. Hi, mister. You new around here? I'm looking for a guy named Phone Bone. You seen him? Bone? Oh yeah, I've seen him. You have? I'm saved! Where is he? Don't know. Could be. He's at the farm by now. Take me to Phone Bone at once. Well, I don't know he's there for sure, but uh, we can ask Grandma Ben. Okay, fine. Let's get a move on. Come on then, I ain't got all day. I got to warn you, Grandma Ben's an old lady. She might not take to your attitude much. Don't worry about me, Pug. There ain't a woman alive who can resist my charms. Okie dokie, follow me. Hi, Grandma! Well, hello, Ted, dear. Who's your friend? This here fella been asking to meet you. Oh, he looks like such a nice young man. What is it you wanted, dear? You got any food around this place? Oh, are you hungry, dear? I'm starving! You think I just walk around asking people for food for no reason? Well, I might be able to find you something to eat at the house. If you're willing to work for your supper. I am Funcible P-Bone, the richest bone in Boneville. I don't have to work for anything. You poor thing. You must be far from home. Cut the chit-chat, Grams. You got any food or not? Well, that's about enough of that. Ted, dear, I think you'd better leave. I'm gonna tear this little fella apart from the inside out. Yes, ma'am. See you around, pal. So Ishmael finds this ship to sign up with, right? And he hears about this mysterious captain, but... Yikes! Phone bone! Save me! That crazy old lady tried to kill me! Well, bless my buttons. What have we got here? Hello, ma'am. They're called bones, Grandma. Sorry, dear, you can't keep them. But... No butts. I don't want any pets running around the house. Grandma, they're not pets. Can you milk them? If you can't milk them, they're pets. That's it! I'm out of here! Grandma! Hold it, phony. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Phony, this is Thorn. Thorn, phony. So, what have you been doing with my cousin? You two got a little thing going on or what? Phony! No, huh? Figures. What'd you do, bore to death talking about Moby Dick? Well, you boys can stay if you want, but you'll have to sleep in the barn and do a few chores before dinner. Happy to help out, ma'am. Thanks, ma'am. We're happy to help. All right, then. Phony Bone, you go to the hot springs and pull up a few turnips for dinner, then go up to the apple tree at the top of the waterfall and bring back a couple of apples. There's a path next to the house that's a shortcut up there. Phone Bone, you and Thorn can finish washing the potatoes, split a log for the fire and bring two buckets of water to the porch. Hold on, why do I have to go back to the stupid forest and phone just to stay here at the farm? You want to eat tonight? Yeah, yeah. All right, kids, get cracking.
Let's get that wood. Okay, I'll chop the wood and you can finish with the potatoes. What? Where I come from, what you just said is backwards. Chopping firewood is a manly thing. And since I'm the man, I'll do the manly thing. Okay. It sure is holding on tight to that axe. What kind of manly thing is that? Chin-ups! Wash the potatoes! Hey, Mo, what you doing? I need to split firewood, but this axe is stuck. Oh, yeah? You want some help? Uh, sure, Ted. Hope you don't, Mo. I think I got some friends can help you out. Go for it, boys. Termites? Don't mention it, Mo. Happy to help. But... See you around, Mo. Now what am I gonna do? Now what am I gonna do? Excuse me, Grandma Ben, do you mind if I use one of these corn cobs? I suppose not. Just don't go spoiling your dinner. There you are. Do me a favor. Don't mention your friend the dragon to Grandma. Why not? But I saw one. He had a goatee and a cigarette and big old hairy ears. You were just seeing things. Dragons are make-believe. You know, that's what he wants you to think. He doesn't want you to know he exists. Actually, I just want her to think you're nuts. Not a bad idea, but this corn cob is just a bit too big. Hey, Dragon! Yeah, what is it? Can you help me out? What do you need? Can you breathe fire on this corn cob? You sure you want me to? Please, just breathe fire on the corn cob. Okay. Uh, thanks. Don't mention it. Perfect fit. Um, excuse me, Grandma Ben. What is it, Phone Phone? Finished with the wood. I need more clean water. Okay, kids. Go get the water then. No problem. Um, excuse me, Grandma Ben? What is it, Phone Phone? Here's your water, ma'am. All right then, Phone Phone. Why don't you wait in the house till your cousin gets back? Hey, kids! Hey, guys! It's Bong Bong's cousin again! Oh, no! Just ignore him! 
Say, that's a nifty spade you guys got there. Uh, thanks? It's our mom's shovel, and you can't have it! You kids want to play a game or something? We don't want to play with you! Yeah! You cheat! Yeah, cheater! How about if I tell you a story? Well... We don't want a story, neither! You can't cheat at telling stories! What kind of story? What kind of... Uh, hmm. uh, it's a story about something really exciting that happened in Boneville, where I come from. Well, maybe I'll hear just a little bit of the story. Oh, brother. I'll bet it's a dumb story. Okay, uh, once upon a time, there was... This poor bone that no one understood. One day, this bone came up with the most amazing idea he'd ever had. He decided the best way to make the other bones like him was to run for mayor. So he had a huge picnic with yummy prune tarts and music and games and invited everyone in town. Ooh, sounds like fun! Everything was going great, until... By a cruel twist of fate, the giant 50-foot balloon the boat had made of himself broke free and started chasing all the townspeople. Oh, no! So this giant balloon came at the people. There was nowhere for him to run. It leaned down on him and... <laughs> Superior intellect wins again. You were safe and snug in your little dirt home, didn't you? Well, you're mine, turnips! Mine! Yeah, you're the smart one. You shake your brains loose on that rock? Why, you? <laughs> Stupid bug. Here's your stupid produce. All right, then. Eat up, kids. Big day tomorrow. The spring fair. I can't wait. Everything sure smells great, Thorn. Why, thanks, Bone Bone. Dig in. Thank you very much for your hospitality, ma'am. You boys did your part. I appreciate good help around the old place. Slave labor's more like it. How'd you come to own the farm? I prefer to keep the past in the past, Bone. Sounds sensible to me. Uh, what's your favorite part of the festival? Well, every year I run in the great cow race against the fastest cows in the valley. Gets the old blood pumping. 
you race against the cows, ma'am? Sure do. The villagers love it, and it's good for keeping these old bones working. You must be pretty fast to race against those cows. <laughs> well, I just do my best and try and have a good time. Oh, ha ha. There's hardly a cow in the valley that can beat Grandma in the hundred yard dash. How many cows are usually in this race, anyhow? Oh, usually about a dozen or so. Uh huh. Hmm. Uh, how fast does a cow run, anyway? Not as fast as Grandma. Now, dear. Huh. I never thought of cows as the racing type. Well, I don't know about Boneville, but around here they breed some pretty mean racing cows. Oh, Grandma, I almost forgot. I think Lulu Bell is feeling a little sick. Oh, yeah? What's wrong with her? She's just not eating like normal. Hmm. Okay, then. I'll take a look at her after dinner. Um, who's Lulu Bell? Lou is one of Grandma's fastest racing cows. Sometimes Grandma takes her to the great cow race, as well as entering herself. What's Barrelhaven like? Oh, it's a small village that's usually pretty quiet. But at the time of the fair, it explodes in size. How much exploding we talking about? Um, well... I don't know exactly, but lots and lots of people come in from all over the valley. Hmm. Well, big day tomorrow. Let's cut the chit-chat and everyone get some shut-eye. Yeah. You boys can sleep in the house. Just make sure to keep it down down here. Good night, phony. Good night, Bone Bone. Oh. Get up before I crush your heads! King Dog! Sire, what are you doing here? May I kiss your feet? I wish I had some quiche I could offer you. Quiet! I've had scouts out looking for you too! You have? How flattering. I'm flattered. Are you flattered? You two are starting to make me look bad. The Hooded One has summoned you both to a High Council tonight. The Hooded One? Has something happened? He has received word that the one we seek, the small, bald creature with the star on its chest, has been seen in the valley. He has? But... But... He was last seen in your territory. Come with me! The rat creatures have surrounded the farm. Hurry! Grandma! What's going on? Where are they? They've surrounded the house. Hurry down here. Where's Pony? I don't know. He was gone when I woke up. Little Squirt probably ran off. Do you have a plan, Grandma? I have an idea that might work. Okay, children. This is what we're going to do. When I say run, you run. Got that? What? That's your plan? Run where? Okay, kids, run! There's a back door. Come on! Don't worry about me. I fought the rats back in the big war.
Yeah, look, Ted. It's a meeting of the new community leaders. Ooh, a town meeting! Does we get to vote? I just love to vote! Stay back, worm. Our numbers are too great. We are not afraid of you. Who's we? Yes! I told you there was a dragon. I told you. Grandma, are you all right? Of course I am, dear. The dragon saved us. A real dragon, Grandma. Look! I can see. Hello, dragon. Hello, folks. It's been a while. Yep. Come on, kid. Yo, Bone Bone! Smiley Bone! Hey, my little pal is safe! Oh my gosh, I was so worried about you! Hey, Phony! Bone Bone's here! So, once again, Smiley Bone, your friend. But make no mistake, we will complete our transaction. You have been spared for now, Fonsible P. Bow.